Hey, Pedro. Um, did, I, I assume you thought you won the fight. I'm sorry. Can you repeat again? Do you feel you won the fight? Yeah, without a doubt. I was just right now with the doctor getting some stitches, and then some of my coaches, Dan Lambert, he was just showing me uh, 17 of the MIDI score. The 20 MIDI score, 17 gave me the fight, 17. So only three gave him. And also I saw the punchy scores. I had first, third, fourth, and the fifth rounds. I, you know, it is what it is, so. Did you feel like, you know, obviously you were doing a number on his uh, lead leg, uh, and while Frankie had those couple of take he didn't do much with it, so primarily it was a uh, striking battle, but you added in the, the leg kicks, which he didn't have. Do you feel that was may maybe the difference in the fight? Not even the, not even the leg kicks, you know, I was hurting him with the jabs. I, I chased him five rounds, you know. Uh, he got a couple takedowns, but he couldn't do anything with the takedowns. I got back up right away. And I was looking for the finish, you know, so. Did you feel at any point you ever had him in trouble where he might be close to going out? Yes, a few times, to be honest with you. Um, not taking anything from him. He's a hell of a fighter. I have nothing but respect to him and all his his team. Uh, I really, I really feel, and I saw like a few times he was hurt, and he's pretty tough. So he he hided that really good, but I felt like you know, like throw like some cross, some hooks, uh, some couple couple uh, tip kicks on his on his blacks and on his body. The leg kicks, he was hiding really good. Sometimes I was just fake it that I'm gonna throw the kick and he was falling, so probably was hurt. And that's that's my the last two fights, both of my opponents he's just left with the scratches, you know. They couldn't they couldn't walk out, out of the cage. How disappointed uh, do you feel when you f say you had opportunities to finish them that you weren't able to take advantage of those, right? I mean, do you, w will you be critical of yourself when you look back at it that you didn't take advantage of those opportunities? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, he's tough. I just didn't want to go to thirst, try to get the finish, and then he used it as an advantage of him or hurt me and things like that. So I, I you know, fighting... Like guys in UFC, we've, we're talking about the best fighters in the world. We're talking about like no warming fights here. Every single fight is could be a title fight. And it's, everybody here is super tough. You know, it's, I, saw, I saw that I heard him a few times. He wanted, he wanted to win this fight, so do I. And so it was. Pedro, last thing for me then. Um, this is a guy that's been a lightweight, and now he's in this division. When you compare him, uh, you're ranked number five. You fought the former champion. You fought the guy who's going to fight for the championship next. How do you think he ranks, and does he fit in with the elite guys in this division, in your opinion? And can he sustain competing against these good guys, from what you could tell tonight? We thought it out. We thought it out. You know, he's, he's, he seems very healthy. He seems very strong, tough, good cardio, a lot of good skills, and... Yeah, no, he's definitely belongs that and the top five in that division. You know, I just, I, I, I just wanna fair things. You know what I mean? I just don't wanna lose to people that have a better reputation than I do, or people that, you know, is a former champ and things like that. So, that's that's my point. I wanna just fair, fair scores. Just going off that. So, do you believe his reputation can help sway the judges when it's a very close round? It could be, so I cannot be 100% pot. I, I can't. I can't be 100% sure about it. So I just once you see the score, once they see like 20 of his media score, 17 gave me in that fight. That's the only thing. The only thing that I can think of right now in this exact moment is just the reputation. You know, his name, legend. Is it a? Uh, I mean, obviously every fighter wants to avenge their loss, but does this one particularly? Would you like to have a rematch? You know, I'm already I'm always down to fight anyone. 
you know, I never, I never choose any opponent. I'm down to fight anyone, anytime. So, yeah, it would be good if we get have a different rematch or, you know. And last thing for me, I know you said that he, he's a quality fighter, but I'm interested, did he feel like a bantamweight? You know, he spent so long at lightweight and then featherweight. Did he feel like a naturally sized bantamweight to you? Yeah, without a doubt. We, we probably like felt like very close uh, uh, along, uh, alongside each other. You know, he felt we, we were the same size, both 5'6". He had a, just a little bit long reach. And I was able to defend a lot of his takedowns. I was, you know, pushing him with my pressure. And so uh, I think he's found, you know, the, the right division. I know after a loss as a fighter can go back and watch tape and see what they maybe thought that they could do better. I know in your mind you feel that you did win the fight. But if you start going back and looking at the fight, I know it just happened in your head. What are the areas that you think that you maybe could have did a little bit better that maybe would have swayed the judges? Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be for my coaches to do in that job. You know, uh, my job is just to go there and perform uh, you know, try to, to get the finish, and that's my extent, that's my own DNA, you know, fight is not what I do, it is who I am. Uh, so that, that, that job is gonna be for my coaches, you know, to see what I did, what I could do better, and things like that. And I know you're number five, he was coming into the division unranked, but taking a loss against a guy like Frankie, who, like you said, should be in the elite of the division, how far do you think that this might drop you back in the rankings, and would you hope that it maybe just stay the same and maybe just bring Frankie up and over? I don't know about that. You know, this is, this is not out of my control, you know. This is completely out of my control. The media could probably could put me back in number 20, put it here number one, it's going for the title, you know. So I, I at the end of the day, I just want a uh, fair score. And, and last one for me, I guess, what's the immediate, uh, what do you do right now? Go back, just rest with the family. How soon do you want to get back in into the gym and start preparing again? And I guess, what's the next step? Yeah, right now, just <clears throat> go back home. Uh, be mad for a couple of days. <laughs> and me kidding. At the end of the day, I'm very grateful for, for what I do for the people that I have around me, you know, for my family, for my friends, for my real friends, for my training partners, my coaches, the people that, you know, here, Dan Lambert, Cattell, Macahon, Kona, Michael, all these people, it's like, at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters for me, you know, is just have people, you know, good people around us and spread the love.